Hi everyone, today we're going to study total differential. Let f of xy be continuous on an open set S. Let dx and dy represent changes in x and y respectively. Then the total differential of f is df, this is the total differential, equals partial derivative of f with respect to x, multiplied by dx, plus partial derivative of f with respect to y, times dy. Sometimes, this is also called total derivative. Example 1, find the total differential of f of xy equals 100 plus 5x squared plus 6y raised to 5. Let's begin with simplification of partial derivative of f with respect to x. We can copy this on the side. And let us evaluate. So the value will be 10x because derivative of 100 is 0 because this is constant. Derivative of 5x square is this 10x. Derivative of 6y raised to 5 is 0 because y variable is taken as constant. Let us now simplify the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So the value will be 30y raised to 4. Derivative of 100 is 0 because this is a constant. Derivative of 5x squared is again 0 because x here is taken as a constant. Derivative of 6y raised to 5 now comes the 30 y raised to 4. Next, let us do the substitution respectively. So the df or the total differential equals 10x dx plus 30y raised to 4 dy. This is the final answer. Example 2, if f of xy equals x square y square minus 2x minus 4y, then find the total derivative of f at x equals 1 and y equals 3. First, let us evaluate the total differential. And here is the formula. Let's begin now with evaluating the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So that will be 2xy square minus 2. Then partial derivative of f with respect to y. And the value will be 2x square y minus 4. Then let us do the substitution respectively. So we have like this. Next step. We're going to substitute x equals 1 and y equals 3, respectively, in this equation. So we will have like this. The 2xy square becomes 2 times 1 times 3 square. Then we write the minus 2 here. The 2x square y becomes 2 times 1 square times 3. Then minus 4. Then we copy the dy. Simplifying further, this 3 square is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 minus 2 is 16. So we have 16 dx plus 2 times 1 square is 2 times 3 will be 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So we write here 2 dy. 
This is the final answer. Example 3. If f of xy equals x square y square minus 2x minus 4y, then find the total derivative of f at x equals 1, y equals 2, dx equals 0 0.2, and dy equals 0 0.4. Let us write the formula for total derivative or total differential. Please remember that this function is the same from example 2. We are able to get the value of the differential. We will just copy it down here. The next step is we are going to substitute the values. x equals 1, y equals 2, dx equals 0.2 and dy equals 0 0.4 and it will be like this 2xy square becomes 2 times 1 times 2 square then we copy the minus 2 multiplied by dx and we replace this by 0 0.2 plus 2x square y becomes 2 times 1 square times 2 then we copy the negative 4 multiplied by dy we replace dy by 0 0.4 simplifying further this 2 square will be 4 4 times 1 then times 2 is 8 8 minus 2 will be 6 multiplied by 0 0.2 plus 2 times 1 square is 2 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 4 will be 0, to be multiplied by 0 0.4. And we can cancel this product because of the 0. So the df equals 6 times 0 0.2. And we have the final answer as 1.2. Today we are going to study absolute error, relative error, and percentage error. Let the F be the total differential. The absolute change or error equals the absolute value of the F. Relative change or error equals the absolute value of the fraction df over f. Percentage change or error equals the absolute value of the fraction df over f. For this is the relative change. Then multiply by 100. Let us see this example. A cylinder can is designed to have a radius of 1 inch and a height of 5 inches. But the radius and height are off by an amount dr equals 0 0.03 inch and dh equals negative 0 0.1 inch. Estimate the resulting absolute relative and percentage error in the volume of the cylinder can. First, let us write the formula for the total differential. Then, our problem is talking about the volume of the cylinder can. The formula for the volume is pi times square of radius times the height. In here, we can see that there are two variables, the radius r and the height h. The change in r that is equal to dr and the change in h equals dh. 
So let us modify our formula of our total differential. So it will be dv equals partial derivative of v with respect to r times dr plus partial derivative of v with respect to h times dh. Now let us evaluate first with the partial derivative of v with respect to r. So the value will be 2 times pi times r times h. Next, partial derivative of v with respect to h. The value will be pi r squared. Then dr and dh are given from the problem. dr is 0 0.03 and dh is negative 0 0.1. Let us substitute these values in the dv formula. So it will be like this now. From the problem given r, the radius which is 1 and the height that is 5. Let us substitute the corresponding values in the formula. So it will be like this. Let us simplify the corresponding products. 2 pi times 1 times 5, then multiplied by 0 0.03. We will get 0 0.3 pi minus the second group, pi times 1 square times this negative 0 0.1. So the product will be this negative 0 0.1 pi. The difference will be the dv, and that is 0 0.2 pi. Units will be cubic inches. Now let us evaluate the absolute error, relative error, and percentage error. And corresponding formulas are here. For absolute error, absolute value for dv. Substituting the value, we will get the absolute value of 0 0.2 pi, which will be the same. So the value will be 0 0.2 times pi. This is the absolute error. For relative error, the absolute value of the fraction dv over v. Substituting the values we have 0 0.2 pi for the dv over the formula for v is pi r square h. We know the values of r and h respectively from the problem. Let us substitute those values. And it will be like this. In the denominator, pi times 1 square times pi. Simplifying the fraction, we can see that we can cancel the pi in the numerator and the pi of the denominator. And the final answer here will be 0 0.04. This is the relative error. For the percentage error, we will just copy the relative error value. We will substitute in here. Then multiply by 100. So we will get 4. We will just affix the percent sign. So the percentage error is 4%. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.